that slapped the bill and slammed the J. Yeah, we're talking basketball. Hoops, b-ball, baby. We're talking slamming and jamming, shooting the J, taking it to the hoop. Sprite NBL basketball. Hi, I'm John Dippin. And I'm Anthony Ray Parker. We're here for the next 11 weeks. And this is the first one, Sprite NBL basketball. Hey, big time action tonight. Welcome, everybody. We're going to start off with Auckland Rebels versus the North Harbor Paunua Kings. That's going to be our feature game tonight, Anthony Ray. But then for highlights, we're going to move over to the Tobacco Center in Nelson, where the Giants will host the Rams in a South Island affair. After that, we're going to head on down real deep south where the Nuggets entertain the Saints from Wellington. All right, now, John, hey, don't miss this matchup. The All-Stars versus the New Zealand Juniors. That's right, Anthony Ray. Some young talent trying to be tall black. Okay, now check out this lineup. We got the Oakland Rebels right at the top of the points list. That's right, Anthony. They got 12, and the Ponomo Kings are in second place on eight points. Man, I tell you, this proves to be a stone gasser, John. This is our main event right here at the Auckland Town Center Unitech. That's it. Here we go, Anthony. The lineup, Carol Cameron, Enosa, Boucher, Hanari, and Benson for the Rebels. Coming up for the North Ponamo Kings, we've got Kirk Penny, Rookie of the Year last year. Brendan, Kathy Pongia, Perkins, Cassie, and Emzinger. It's going to be a barn burner. This is a tip off, John, to start the game. Hey, already, already pushing and shoving, man. Pushing and shoving, Anthony Ray. Auckland got the ball. Okay, we've got this kind of matchup every year against these two teams, John. Yeah, two local teams, right. one's across the bridge. They're always going to butt heads. It's always going to be tough. You can see right now, there are a lot of pushing right now early in the ball game. All right, now, John, we've got the Auckland Rebels on offense. The North Harbor Kings on D. Oh, oh there we go. Paul Hanari penetrated. Johnny Dazzy right here reaches in the cookie jar, gets the little slap, and gets the foul. I, the ball to the side. I love replay, brother. I really do. Here we go. Hanari sinks the first one. They, they, thought, they called it. He was in the act of shooting, so he, got, he gets two shots on that. I see Big Perkins over here for the Kings. He's been around a long time, John. He's been in the league a long time. He won a title with the Nelson uh, uh, Giants uh, a couple years ago. Played, he's been all over the league, this guy. All right. We're checking out Big Perkins. Dishing it to the inside. Nice ball movement. Oh, oh reject. Oh, yeah, right. As he drove to the lane, but he had no place to throw the ball to, so he had to eat it. Nice over the top oh. to Scott Fenton. Nice. Oh, nice dish. All right. And the Rebels go up for zip. John Dazzy, well, you know, he knows he's a good passer, and at 6'10", he can see over the top. That's how they got that ball. Here's another big guy right here inside to Emsinger. There you go. When the North Harbor team penetrate, they get some good shots. All he said was, give it me. Let me do the deal. Oh, Benson lays it up easily, John. Yeah. Where's the defense, man? Weak side defense was sleeping that time. They should have been dropping down to the ball. They were too far away. Here's Kirk Penny trying to find some opening. All right, now this young fellow's going places, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's off to Wisconsin. He's going to yeah. play big-time ball in the States. Uh, That's right. a tough league. <laughs> we'll check him out later down the track. Back to the action over here, young Johnny Desi. Oh, shaking and baking. Puts it up, in and out. No go. Offensive rebound. That's what they need. That's, exact, was, that's what they need, John. That's exactly what they need. Chris Enzinger, he's got to stay around the basket. He's a big guy at 6'10". He got the missed shot by Dazzy, and he got fouled and got a couple free throws out of it. You notice how calm Auckland are. They're a very veteran ball club. They don't panic about anything. Okay, is that due to good coaching? That's Tab Baldwin's one of the best coaches in the league. His teams are well drilled. Okay. You have to prepare to beat them. Now, hold on. You're not trying to grease them up or anything? No. Okay. <laughs> The last thing I do, man. All right, back to the action. Oh, talk about discipline. Check this out. Yeah, Big Inosa right there, 6'10". He's a tall timber. He got that. Now North Harbor come right back and answer. But look at how quickly Auckland get the ball down. The thing I like about Auckland is they've got always a double attack. They've got somebody driving to the hole. And they've got somebody going to a nice shooting position. So they've got double attack, and it really stretches the defense. Okay, now was this something that they lacked last year, John? They had uh, a few problems. They, they lost a few players, and some people got hurt. And 
you know, yeah, they didn't have a good year. And, and North Harbor last year had a great year. Mm -hmm. well, you talk, you're talking about people being hurt. Young Kenny Stone is out of action this trip around. Yeah. He's going to be out of action for a while now. Yeah, six weeks. Nice inside move by Kenny Perkins there. Then uh, North Harbor need more of that. Yeah, Kenny, uh, Kenny Stone broke his wrist in, an, uh, in a benefit game, which was unfortunate. But Auckland, they're still undefeated in the league. They've got an endless bench of talent. Oakland Rebels are up right now, 18-9 on the scoreboard, and check this out. They just seem to be able to drive at will. Yeah, they play good team basketball. They get the ball inside, and you look at off at North Harbor right now. They do a lot of perimeter play. They need to. Ah, oh, there we go. Nice inside by Kirk Kenny inside to Andrew Parks, but Auckland with their collapsing defense stripped them. And that's something that North Harbor doesn't quite do on defense. Uh -oh. If Parks could have taken that one back, man, I know he would have. But he came <laughs> down and sort of kind of redeemed himself just a tad bit on that almost interception. Well, he's hustling. He's getting after it. Uh -huh. Nice backdoor cut, Scott Benson. If you leave Scott Benson open like that, he's going to sting you. Square shoulders, nice extension. He's a strong kid. Bang, bingo, three points. Man, he's a sleeper. He's yeah. a sleeper, John. You don't even know he's there until after he's already scored. Nah, he's like Casper the Ghost. He's a white guy. Oh, man, you can't come off with that. <laughs> Check this out. Great ball moving around the court. Kirk Penny all day long. There he is. Nice extension. Notice his hand, his shooting hand. Got it really extended towards the basket. Beautiful job right there from Kirk Penny. Great rotation back to the action. North Harbor on D and Kenny. Oh, nice rebound. Enzimir, the big guy, gets a rebound off the other big guy, Enosa. Johnny Dazzy's going to try to attack the basket. Young Dazzy, he's a new face on the squad, isn't he? Yep, he's, he's a new guy. Oh, nice block. Enzinger at 6'10", didn't muscle that one. Out of here. Yeah. He can't come up with that popcorn stuff, John. Nah, Daryl Cartwright said, take it out of the office, son. <laughs> got a little pushing foul there. Dazzy got a little pushing foul trying to get the ball. My bad, my bad, Johnny says. On me, back to the action. <laughs> the Oakland Rebels. Are uh, on attack again, Jack. Yeah, well, that right there is just the defense was sleeping right there, which is a lapse. North Harbor have to toughen up their defense if they're going to stay in this ball game. They're starting out pretty slow tonight. First quarter. First quarter, we still have a full game to play yet, John. Hopefully, they'll get their act together. There we go. Nice inside dish to Empfinger. There you go. Need more of that, John. There you go. Andrew Parks drove the lane, dished it off to the big guy. Exactly. They need to get that ball inside a bit more. Love that replay, man. You can't miss anything on replay. No. Nah. <laughs> Slows it up. Kirk Penny looking. Passes it off to Parks. Tries to go down the middle to look for something. And I think right there, he was actually looking to pass the ball to somebody, but he ran out of space and he got whacked. No, no, I think he, I think he stepped on those big feet. You see the big feet <laughs> on the big guy? Big old feet stretched across the court. Young fellas going places. Yeah, he's a good player. He's going to have his hands full next year, I'll tell you that. Six foot five, though. He's a 19 promising athlete. All right, we wish you all the best out there, young Penny. 25-15. The yeah. North Harbor Kings need to come put some serious magic to the touch to come back now. But we've got plenty of time, John. Oh, there's a lot of time, yeah. Anthony. I mean, a 10-point lead can go by in a snap of a finger in basketball. Carol Cameron faces the basket, a little stutter step, tries to do something, and he gets double teamed. Now, that's good defense right there. Andrew Parks came over and double teamed down low in the post. They stripped him. Andrew Parks still showing that he's got quick hands. Is that a three? Oh, yeah. Downtown, Kirk Penny, if you leave him open, you know, and I know Tap Baldwin's going to call timeout and get after them about this. They're up to nine the point, okay? They're up to nine the point. They're also trying to bump the weak side flash. So if we can get a forward or Dylan or Scott or somebody in the weak side position, you can take that bump and backdoor it to the basket, okay? Look for the straight lob. One, two, three, I like those water bottles over there, John. I need to have one of those, man. Why don't we have a spray water bottle? <laughs> well, get one, Anthony. I'm sure we'll get one. What Tab was saying there is he wants, when they get bumped, the bump guy to go straight to the basket because the defensive guy is standing out at the top and they might get a cheap basket that way. Here's Lance White. Going over the top, nice screen. There you go, Chris uh, Kepna. I like that young man. He's smooth, smooth yeah. to me, John. Yeah, I kind of said I, I think I got a little dyslexic there. It's actually Prem Krishna. Inside of Kenny Perkins. There you go. There you go, Kenny Perkins, showing you that he is not out of the game yet. Not at all. Now they they need more of that. You notice that Auckland, 
There we go, Cartwright misses the inside. Peril Cameron gets the weak side rebound and puts it up. A lot of the, a lot of their, yeah, Daryl Cartwright going over the top there. Then uh, Peril Cameron on the weak side, he just muscles Kenny uh -oh. out of there. He muscles all right. You see the shoulders on that big man. <laughs> yeah, he's a space eater. He hurts you just standing next to you. Prem uh, Krishna, got it right that time, brings the ball up. All right. And we have Simon Meseritz with the ball. He used to play for the Kings at, uh, a few years back. Seems like they'll, both these squads, you know, Andrew Parks played for Auckland last year. They kind of swap back and forth. And I suppose it depends on what kind of deodorant the coach uses. I don't know. All those things and more come into play as to whether or not you've got a winning ball club or not. But we know, we can see right here that the North Harbor Kings seem to be lacking just a little bit of something, John. Just a little bit of organization on team defense right now. They need to really tighten that up to get back in the game. Kirk Penny really... Uh, Wheeling and dealing, kicking it out. Seems like he's trying to do it all. I mean, not trying to do it all, but trying to orchestrate something. Yeah, when he can penetrate like that, the defense collapses, and he kicked it out to the open man for the nice shot right there. He got a score. Simon Mezares tries to roll, and he got a he got a foul out of that. Yeah, and Jeff Daniels is a little unhappy about that one. And there you go, Scott Benson on the baseline. You know, I mean, that's the thing about Auckland. It's so dangerous because all five guys can shoot the ball. The sleeper. Ooh, a little bit more physical action down there with Johnny Desi. Yeah. And push, Dylan Vulture. Trying to push Bowser out of the way. That's a nice drive right there. Nice move, John. There we go. There's a very good drive. A little baseline offhand stuff by uh, Carl Green. Can little, we see more of this, please? Well, let's hope that they can hold it that way. North Harbor Sabbath have a tendency to try and go for the outside shot. Oh, nice tip by Boucher there. All right, watch this. Pass the ball off to Carroll Cameron. He goes right to the lane now, Boucher. Straight up. Nice tip. What kind of defense is North Harbor trying to enforce here, Jeff? Well, in that case right there, whoever's guarding Boucher, you'd have to say, hey, son, you didn't block him out. You know, part of your job is to block these guys out. I think we're going to have a timeout here. Nice replay. Shows yeah. you how. There you go. Hey. Penetration is working real well right now. Penetration. Kenny, hey, Kenny's getting fronty. Look at the high low. He's getting hey. the ball back up the top. One good kick. One good kick. Hang on, Zach. Stop. 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 King don't see. One, two, three, King. I think you're noticing that uh, timeout, Anthony. Warwick Mail, the coach, the next uh, all, uh, tall black. Uh, he did a little talking, but everybody else is talking. I don't think too many people are listening. No, no, no. Too many Chiefs, John? Yeah, too many Chiefs. Nice inside drop off from uh, Inosa to Boucher and a nice reverse layup. This Boucher kid, he did not get a trial for the New Zealand team. they got to have a strong New Zealand team if this kid can't get a trial. Man, he should be there, John. I agree with you 100%. I like what he does. He is smooth. He's busy all the time. He's very into the game, 27-24. That's right. He makes things happen. Johnny Dazzy right there. That's an ugly shot. He got no rotation on the ball. Kenny Perkins pushed it out. He's unhappy. He thinks that uh, he, he got robbed right there. And he might have. Might have been an outside hand, but he's the big body in the front, so it goes the Rebel Sport way. Maybe young Dylan to get a look from next year, maybe. Just maybe. Yeah, well, you see North Harbor now dropped into a 2-3 into a zone. They're trying to pack it up, but, you know, there, that worked that time. They got the ball now. I think Benson kind of crawled up the young fella's back. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, Scott Benson a little zealous there in the backcourt. <laughs> he didn't pull a cast and move that time. <laughs> yeah, he was seen. Nice back screen for Ensminger. But see how far Ensminger is from the basket. He's 6'10". There's Kenny Perkins taking an outside shot. Man, that is not his shot. No, it's not his game. Uh, those guys should be inside a little bit more. That bounce pass there. Slow stand to court intercepted it. Jeff Daniels, 6'6", six, six. over the ball, he's looking for the inside. Jeff Daniels has been around for a while, hasn't he? He's been around, too. He's played for Auckland. He's played for a couple different teams. And now he's uh, with the Kings. Got him listed as 6'8", John, 6'8", forward. 6'8", forward. Well, you know, sometimes that, that printer gets a little excited, gets a little carried away by how tall people are. <laughs> All right. Nice work by Auckland. They didn't come up with any goods that time, but they pounded the boards real well. Did I actually see Benson try to pull a power move to the basket? Yep, yep. They're, you know, Auckland's first point of attack is inside, then they go to the outside. Look at all the people standing around. 
for North Harbor. They don't have much penetration. Oh, they got it inside of the big man. He has to nail those, John. Yeah, I don't see why they don't do that more. I mean, you know, they went to the mailbox to deliver. Now, listen, the next thing is, when we are back to man and there's penetration, the weak side wing's got to drop down and box out, particularly Insminger. Try to get that thick okay. rotation, too. Come on, fellas, come on. Just pull it there, John. He's a fine he's coach because he's saying when the ball goes inside, the weak side defensive guy's got to get to the guy with the ball. So you get a double team. And that's something that North Harbor doesn't do. That's why Auckland gets so many free inside shots. Notice we've got a newcomer on the scene. Steve Campbell's in the game. Young Steve, 5'10", guard. Can he make an impact, Joe? Yeah, he can. Steve's been around a long time. He, he played for New Plymouth a couple years ago. He used to play at Boys Town right here in Auckland a long time ago. And uh, he can pop that three-point J. So he's a, he's a homeboy. He's a homeboy. He's right there. This is Hayden Smythe. He uses all the rim right here. Inside, outside, back, and it drops for three. Smythe is a tough player. I like Hayden. 44-31. Brooklyn Rebels. Leading the way, and they oh, have from start. Nice crossover. That was the best move that Eftinger's done all night right there. He faked outside, went inside, and crossed over and got it off the glass. Nice play. Got young Jeff Daniels here at 6'6 or 6'8. Turning the spin move inside to Andrew Parks. And there you go again. If they get the ball inside, North Harbor are strong. Young teams, young fellas out there, if you're watching this game, take note. Watch the Auckland Rebels surgically cut the North Harbor Kings in half. Oh, -ho. that's a nice shot by Nosa. He's 6'10". He hasn't taken too many outside shots, but he makes them count. I see right there, Andrew Parks tried to do a move from 20 feet. You know, stay inside, Andrew. Hayden Smythe, here he is on the outside. You give him the open shot. You know, see, that's that zone. See, North Harbor in a zone now. They go down to the middle. They forget about the outside. You've got to put pressure on the ball, especially with a good shooting team. Johnny Dassey goes right to the hole. There you go. There you go, man. Second pick. It's time for him to step up and take control. Yeah, he's got to, he's got to take it to the basket more. 49-38. Anthony Ray Parker here. John, the two is to Falker Center and Nelson. Bottom of the table. Rams take on top. Giants. Here's Robert Hickey, tall black, with a little fade away. This was supposed to be a total mismatch, Anthony. First half was controlled entirely by Auckland. They kept the pace. They kept the pressure on. North Harbor, this half, have to pound the ball inside and chip away at it to get back in the game. Well, let's see if young Johnny Desi can control the tempo for his squad as he dishes it off to the young fellow over there. Kirk Penny takes the jumper from the key. There you go. Right off the bat, they go for the outside. I think I pounded inside to Kenny Perkins and Chris Amzinger, the two big men. Right away, they're in that kind of like uh, soft defense right now. Cut to the basket. Nice defense by Kurt Penny. Nice hands. Nice yeah. hands. Yep, he uh, got caught a little bit behind, but he caught up the ground and got the hand in there. See a little nervous tension on the officials' faces, don't we? Yeah, a lot of pressure here. These are big guys. They're powerful and fast, and sometimes they get a little out of, out of touch with things, but they're hanging in there, these officials. I'll give them that much credit. <laughs> oh, man. You see some <laughs> pushing and shoving in there, John. Oh, yeah. Be nice. Now, be nice. Here's the, the big man. Two big guys. He knows he goes right over, right over Emsinger. Gets smacked in the face a little bit, but has the presence to stay with it. You know, he knows that for a big guy, he's got a soft touch around the basket. Very nice. Good, good hands. Oh, nice dish. Wow. Johnny Dazzy just sliced through the middle there. That's one of the times that Auckland has been caught napping, and Baldwin won't be happy about that. I think we can see, we expect to see some big things from young Johnny Dazzy this second half. Yeah, he's kind of a slow starter. There's Dylan Bauscher. I don't think that's his shot, really, that flat foot three-pointer. Oh, but I'm pretty sure that's his shot. Yeah, Paul oh, Henry is going to the basket right here, and Johnny Dazzy gives him a little shove, but he's got a presence to make that little swing hook. Smooth operator to see if he can capitalize on this. There you go, downtown. Henry, another fine athlete that missed out on New Zealand selection, you know, which shows the depth of this Auckland side. I mean, they've lost Kenny Stone, but they've got a lot of players on that bench, a lot of talent. Oh, nice pass. 
Oh, there you go. oh man. check out young Dylan, left-handed. <laughs> You'd be happy about that, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, you got to on the left side. You got to go with the left hand. But it was a nice, classic give and go. He gave it to Cam uh, Perro Cameron and went right to the basket. He's got to capitalize on shots like that. He had a nice screen in front of him. He's got to make it go in. Yeah, right now, just to cut it down a little bit. Look at he knows the post up real strong. But see, Auckland's never in a panic. Bowser post up. Every every player in Auckland post up. 16-point lead, John. Yeah, they, they're, they're stretching it out here a little bit. And North Harbor are not putting on any traps or putting uh, Auckland under any pressure right now. So really, once again, Auckland at this stage is dictating the tempo of the game. Okay, oh. so... Uh, nice slash move by Dylan Bowser to the basket. Very weak. Weak side defense by North Harbor. Nobody around. Not good team defense by North Harbor. Kenny Perkins now. See, we haven't heard from him in. You know, in the second half, misses that shot there. He's got to he's got to pull it up and get it inside. Offensive rebounding, John. I think a little bit of that's needed as well. There yeah. you go, Brandon Krishna. Smooth operator up and in. Oh, Easy nothing but out, the man. net. Stay in. All right, you for a couple more minutes. Look to penetrate and kick. Penetrate and kick. All right. So when the man drives, yeah. he's really yeah. Very different to the first yeah. half, huh, John? No one spoke except the chief. Yeah, yeah. Well, Warwick Mail maybe trying to lay the law down there a little bit. I don't understand penetrate and kick, dog. I like to see the ball go inside and pound. They got to chip away at it now. They're 20 points down. They got to get some action going. You're a oh, nice go inside. Yes. The big man. He's got to slam one of those, John. <laughs> He's got to slam it with two hands, man. <laughs> get him jacked up a little bit, Anthony Ray. <laughs> now they're still, they're still in that zone. I don't understand that. You're down 16 points. And you're in the zone. You got to go out there and double team and pressure. I mean, you can't be sitting back in a zone when you're down. What is up on the constant offensive rebound? Rebounding. Well, you know, uh, Auckland are in that, you know, they're pounding the boards. You know, they did a good job there. They didn't get away with anything. But, you know, when you're in a zone, Anthony, it's much tougher to block out. And, you know, they're not they're not marking their guy. So are you saying, John, that they should D up on a man of man? They got to go man to man and get in their jock straps. Oh, there we go. There we go. A little bit of a, a little bit of a shot right there. A little bit of a knockdown. There he is, nice squared up. Good good shot right there. Now, John, back in your day, you were quite physical. Quite a physical ball player yourself, huh? Uh, that's what you call a cement mixer, you know, one of those blue collar guys. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it to the floor. There it is. There's the Bushard. young fella again. Why hasn't he gotten a look at the Tall Blacks, John? Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, the Tall Blacks are a good team, so maybe they got a lot of talent. If they can keep him from getting a look in, they've got to be good because this kid has got exceptional skills. That was a nice reverse layup. Chris Hemsinger not happy right there. He doesn't seem to be happy the whole ball game. Warwick Mail's kind of gone well. I don't know either. But see, you know, Auckland are very composed. They just compose. They look, they cut up inside to the Enosa. Nice turnaround shot, no panic. Beautiful stroke right there. Good extension of the shooting hand. Now we're talking about a big man, a big fella, out up on top of the key shooting that ball. Yeah. Firing that rock through the hole. Yeah, well, he's gonna he's 6'10, so he's gonna be at least a half a foot taller than the guards out there. And if he can stroke it, well, why not? Scott Benson, he's tough. You can't let this guy, you just can't let him have some daylight when he squares up. He had a lot of time to eyeball that rim. Yep, yep, too much time. And that's what happens when you get into a zone. Kirk Penny here, he, he hasn't, uh, we haven't heard much from him in the second half. Jeff Daniels tries a prayer, comes up with a shovel hook right here. A little lean in, a little chest to chest, and he gets a soft touch. Nice, nice shot. Nice job, nice job. But we have heard a great deal from the Oakland crowd. They have been behind their boys every basket all the way. Yeah, yeah. Now, it's a good home crowd. Auckland are used to winning. Shovel shot by Hayden Smythe, Kenny Perkins. He little, he's not happy. He thinks he's got foul there. Dylan Busher once again. Look at that. Strawberry City. He's got to have strawberries on his nose. And, and Tab Baldwin there looking like, you know, I don't know. He's looking like something out of Croatia there. You get those sunken eyeballs. <laughs> he's in control. His team is taking the lead big time. Yeah, they're in control right now. And Tab will continue to use his bench. You know, I think North Harbor got to get out of that, uh, that zone and extend it a little bit. 
get a little bit more pressure on Auckland, see if we can get some turnovers. But, you know, Auckland, as I said, Auckland are composed. You know, they don't take bad shots. As you can see right there, Scott, Scott Benson, he squares up, and Andrew Parks is right in his face, and he still gave him a facial. Where's Matthew Ridge when we need him? Every time you give him an inch, he takes a mile, that's Scott Benson. Yeah, nice little off-balance off shot by Jeff Daniels there along the baseline. Big man, 6'8", moving, soft touch. Pretty good athlete, Jeff Daniels. But the thing is, uh, right now, North Harbor have to stop. Now, Scott Benson finally missed one. It shows he's human after all. But North Harbor have to score, and then they've got to put a couple stops on Auckland to get back in the game. See, Andrew, Par oh. Andrew Parks, once again, how, how many times have I said this, Anthony Ray? 18 feet from the basket, he's trying to make moves that he's incapable of making. Andrew, Wham! Andrew Parks says, shake and bake. <laughs> oh, man, <laughs> but he missed out on the bake. Yeah, yeah, he pounded. <laughs> We got there, probably a little push off on Hayden Smythe right there to clear a little space under the basket, a little elbow to the rib, and the referee caught it. But you notice, look at North Harbor. You know, they're bringing the ball up slow. They look a little like, you know, like, well, hey, guys, you're behind. Let's get it going. Let's pump it up a bit. Oh, nice move to the basket. You know, when Johnny Dazzy turns it on, watch this. Boom. He just goes right by him like the guy's standing still. 6-2, Johnny Dazzy takes it to the hole. Up and in your face, left-handed John. Yep, that was nice. Lance White here with the ball being pounded by Dazzy. Over to Scott Benson. Inside. See, they always go inside, Auckland. Oh, back to Benson. Back down the pike. Yeah. Hold on, brother. Give it up. The big man, Mr. Casper, the sleepy ghost, takes it to the hole once again. Yeah, exactly. You know, Scott Benson's been popping up from the outside, and now he... He takes it down the hole, but that's just, you know, civ defense by North Harbor. Their defense, I mean, where's Chris Emzinger? He's 6'10", you know, and he's not guarding the office right now. We got Johnny Dazzy going to the baseline, getting whacked, so he gets a couple shots at the free throw line. Got to hand it to the officials also, John. They are definitely in control, doing a wonderful job out there today. Yep, yep, there hasn't been a, lot, a whole lot of controversy. I mean, North Harbor has bitched a bit, but when you're behind, you're going to bitch. I mean, simple as that. That's the way it goes. Don't you mean complain, brother, because 72-55 is a score. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I see yeah. a whole lot of complaining coming along the way of North Harbor Kings today. Yep, yep. They're, they're, well, North Auckland have just controlled this game and just have played better percentage basketball, and North Harbor still you know oh, not playing uh, oh, does, does big peel does he have the moves of spin look at that spin move john check yeah, this out that was nice it's a very nice move he's a big body guy and down below he moved enzinger out who was complaining right there but he did whack him on the shoulder and so he's he's going to get the foul call and peril goes to the hoop yeah you did get a little piece of him there john you know and and that's what that would have that's what happens when you're behind you're always kind of like hoping that things go the other way, but they're not. They're going Auckland's way right now. 74-55, we're talking a big 19-point lead. You know, they've just played a little steadier the second half. They're going to have to do something. I'll tell you, for North Harbor to get it going, they're going to have to crank it up and hope that somebody like Kirk Penny can knock down some trays or something. Nice steal by young Cameron. He dishes it down court. Oh, but Auckland can't capitalize yeah, on that one. They missed that one there, Anthony Ray. And Andrew Parks got the ball, got a nice outlet. There's Kirk Penny with the ball. But look at how far Chris Hemsinger is from the basket. He's too far from the hoop. He's not going to try. Okay, he dishes it off. Oh, man. Now get under the hoop and hold your ground. He's trying. You gotta yeah, give him an even. A fadeaway. Oh. He made that shot. That's a nice shot. Kenny Perkins says yes, Chris. That's a hell of a shot. E for effort, brother. But right there, he just pounded the guy. He just pushed off. <laughs> this came with forearm and a bat. You know, and he says, who, me? <laughs> Innsburger. <laughs> yeah, he's 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 having a rough day, but we're talking about Pearl Cameron with 84% field goal shooter. Oh, he's a fine free throw shooter, and that's what makes him tough as a big man because he can hit the outside shot, and then when you foul him, he can also hit his free throw, so you don't lose anything. See, somebody's got to step up and start knocking some shots down. Maybe Jeff Daniels. Now, nope. a little clanger off the side. Where's Kirk Penny? I haven't called his number in the second half. Where is he? 
Nice reverse layout. That was nice. Right. Tell me who. Here we go. Tell me who. Scott Jensen, Casper to goals. Talk to me. Yeah, there he is. Oh, no. Beautiful. Inside, outside. Very steady ball player. Not flashy. Good move. Person I haven't heard much of much from this uh, this quarter here, this half is young Steve Campbell. What's up on there? He there is. he is. Right okay. There. Yep, yep. What do he do? Uh, the, I think the horn Coming went. Out this half, I want to go triangle with the group we've got out there. Okay. They'll stay man now because they're down. Now they're going to start playing out of desperation. Protect the basketball. Be strong with the ball. All right. We got to have a fourth quarter that is our best quarter. There you go. There's Sean Marks, Toronto Raptors, making about two, three hundred thousand bucks a year. Not bad, U.S. We're talking Tab Baldwin, talking about the fourth quarter being the best quarter. <laughs> They've had fantastic three quarters already. Yeah, they have Anthony Ray, but I think Tab wants to try and keep going, uh, improve, you know, and see if they can go all the way. He doesn't want them uh, slacking off right now. But you know, I think North Harbor has got to come out, and they're coming out. There you go. Now we've got a couple stops going in a row. Good rebound by Ensminger. Dazzy taking it down. You mentioned Sean Marks. Oh, there he is. Steve Campbell right there. Big Trey. Oh, Steve. Oh, as soon as I mention his name, oh, he go. comes to life. There he is, Steve Campbell. Yeah, he can do it. He can do it. He can turn it on, Stevie. Looking for big things from Big Sean Marks. Oh, yeah. You know, it's just so exciting. Nice, nice finger roll on the baseline. Avoid the charge. Carol Cameron, good athlete. But looking for big things. It's exciting that Sean Marks, first uh, New Zealander to play in the NBA. I mean, there's only 400 plus players in the, in the entire league. There's 275 million Americans plus all the Europeans. So to belong to that club is something special. Hey, here's Kirk Penny. Where has he been? There he is. Three points. Spank nice me. Job. Nice job. Yeah, nice nice job. job. Nice job. Back pick over the top. See, they got two injuries. Beautiful. Okay, but they missed again. Nice rebound by Emdinger there. There you go. Stevie Campbell bringing it up. Okay, now things. See, now with Stevie Campbell in and Johnny Dazzy, you're starting to up the tempo a little bit, and the ball starting to move up the floor a little bit. So maybe, maybe they should have had that combination in a little earlier. They can definitely push it up the floor a lot quicker. Uh -oh. Exactly. Has Steve found his range? Ah, oh, he's trying. You know, I don't. I don't mind that at this day. Oh, please, please don't call it the jump ball. <laughs> oh, John, don't call it the jump ball. Perro doesn't think so. He's walking to the other end. And and Steve is hoping that it's not. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Perro, see a little flea? Get off me. Here's uh, Lance White bringing the ball up. You know, tough, hard-nosed guy. He's going to try and get into him. See, now they've gone to man-to-man. -man. You know, I think they should have gone to that earlier. Somebody heard you, John, upstairs. Somebody heard you calling man-to-man. -man. See, Auckland. Oh, see, they got a new combination in there now. Uh, Tab substituted a bit because he's got the big lead, and sometimes now you'll see the momentum switch the other way, and that's all. That's what North Harbor's got to hope for. Yeah, I think they've got something in the back pocket, though. In order to make a switch like that, they've got to have something in reserve. Yep. Kenny Perkins back in the game. Chris Emsinger trying to post up. Too far from the basket. Once again, Perro's done a great job on him. Oh, no. Kirk Penny fumbled the ball. Check this out. Check this out. still stroked it. Good Here shot. we go. We're talking All right. focus. We're talking a guy who has no problem hitting him from out there. Yep, yep, that's fine. Kirk has uh, come to life here. They're down 12, so there's still plenty of time. They're still in with a chance this game all of a sudden because Auckland have a new combination, and they're unsettled. Nice Steve, defense. Stevie. Oh, hey, really capitalized. Oh, oh, Johnny Dazzy. I bet he'd love to take that back. Yeah, you know what happened there, Anthony? Instead of high jumping, he broad jumped, and he jumped straight at the basket. That's where he lost his momentum. Kirk Penny with the rebound, though. That's unusual. Here he goes. Nice inside. Oh, there you go. That, oh. that was a force. That was a force, John. Yeah. That was a force. Yeah. May the force be with you, Penny. That one didn't work that time. <laughs> yeah, well, he's trying to force the action a little bit because he's trying to change the, change the tempo, which is not bad because they stopped him a few times. Not that they've stopped him. Auckland actually have stopped themselves. Perro looking for a tray. No, don't look out there. Big. Is that his shot, John? Yeah, he can hit that, actually. Oh, yeah, that's not his shot, but he can hit it. we got three seconds. <laughs> Young Steve, he's not, he's not afraid to take that big body, is he? No, no, he's, he's got to take it. Take, take any open shot. shot right now. No, Remember, there's a long way back. Keep up the deep. Keep the stops coming. Keep pushing at him. Keep hustling. Yeah. Don't worry. We'll make mistakes. Push it at him. Keep pushing on. Kings on three. One, two, three. Kings, let's go. 
I think go Warwick Mail, you know, he's you know, some young fans there. Warwick Mail saying he's got faith in him. Don't worry about the mistakes. Keep pressing. Keep looking for the shot. So, you know, that, that's a good sign. He's positive. He's not down on him. Look where Enzinger is at 610. He's 400 feet from the hoop. At this time of the game, John, he does not to be down, should not be down on his teammate. No, no, no. He no, should he, be encouraging him because they got to really get after it now that's if they right. have a chance in this game. Harold Cameron spent a long time deep from the basket. Paul Hanare, inside, outside, turn around, 15 foot J. 82 68, you know, 14, so they got to come up with a tray now if they're going to try and cut this lead down. Dylan Bauscher, CB Campbell, easy as it goes. Oh, Steve. A nice drive. Yeah, nice it, it was a nice drive. He looked a little casual at the end there, oh, like it was too easy. Those are the little ones that hurt, though. Johnny Dazzy, nice raw, oh, yeah. Geez, they missed four layups. Okay, uh, what you got? Oh, you nice got? inside pass. Uh, there you go. There you go. Why don't they do that more? Big Perkins says, give it to me. Yeah, well, why don't... Give it to me, down low. I'll show you how to put it in. Well, why don't they do that, Anthony? Why don't they do that? They only do it once in a while. Oh, go to man. Why didn't he slam that, John? <laughs> I got to see some slam a jamma. <laughs> I got to see it, baby. <laughs> He's a little older. He's a veteran. He wants to save his knees. <laughs> All right, 271. They got it down to 11. They need to get it to single digits to have a shot here. Good ball movement. North Harbor. Yeah. Fresh faces. Go. Young Dylan dishes it back out to you know who, John. Scott Benson lost a handle there, but see, he didn't panic. He just kicked it out. I think that ball was going up. Wow, that's, that's boy, he rushed that shot. Mm. Good rebound by Perkins, though. Gets out to Dazzy now. They've got a little pressure on him. Chris Emsinger, too far from the hoop once again. Yeah, ineffective at 6'10", 7, 8, 9 feet from the basket. Ineffective. Look, look at the quick hands of Perro. Yeah, he's tough. He's a good athlete, Perro, and he's, and he's smart. Young he's a Dazzy. Heavy oh! oh, oh, oh. Daryl Cartwright says, keep out of my office. Look at that. Oh, spank me. Spank me. Oh, oh no. Baby, yeah. take that. That's embarrassing. Oh, man. Oh, well. Good block by Daryl. Nice give and go to Scott Benson. Pretty That's his range. Yeah. That's his range right yeah. there. Textbook basketball there. Feed it to the high post. A little short 17, we call that. A little juke, a little jive. Okay, now what kind of mental effect would that take on John, young Johnny? Young Johnny Dizzy. Oh, oh, right now, yeah, he wants to come back, actually, and uh, prove himself. You know, see, look at it. He went right to the hole right there. You know, because when you get embarrassed like that, you want to come back and, and improve yourself right right back and get back in the ball game. A little miscommunication right there, though. Yeah, yeah, Stevie uh, went to the hole, hoop, and uh, Johnny's come slashing in. But good defense right there. He's putting some pressure on him. Good matchup right there. Yeah, Paul Hanari. Good young, matchup. Young Good matchup. Oh, 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 quick hands. Uh oh, somebody fell asleep. Oh! Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Came up with it again. Nice inside of Bowser. Good head and shoulders fake. Got the defensive guy to go up in the air. Then went up after he came down. Watch his head and shoulders. Then he goes up. Very composed under pressure. And that is what is good basketball. Being composed under pressure. Once you're committed up there in the air, John. Your fear of history. Kirk Penny still trying to find a range. You know, that's, that's been a story of North Harbor. They've tried to shoot from the outside. Like they're trying to survive. All right? And we're the dominant squad. And we got to do that with strong ball handling. You'll notice now that a lot of times when you try to move, they're grabbing onto you, they're bumping at you, they're getting in your way. Okay? They are open behind. We scored on them a couple of times behind. That's where we've got to continue to attack. We're the dominant side. Yeah. Is, is there any leather in here? Where are the, the whips? <laughs> oh, like Johnny Dazzy got, got spanked again right there. He got another shot blocked. Back out to young Kirk Petty. He's got to try something inside. Now Chris Evans here. There he is again. Effective at 6'10 under the hoop. I don't want to scream too loud, but if you're 6'10, stay at home. Nice job. Good drive, good dish, good bucket. Well, my ears are burning, John, from that one. So uh, <laughs> stay stay home, big fella. Stay home. Uh, good, good board by Johnny Dazzy. Nice board. Good job. Good defensive board. Outside, looking for uh, Kirk Penny. Bang! No 
Okay, three-pointer. He's all day long out there, John. Yeah, well, if he can string a couple of those together, as Warwick Mail, the coach, used to, they used to call him Ice. As we said earlier at the top of the half, that young man's going places over in the States, isn't he? Yeah, Kirk Penny's going to Wisconsin. I hope he likes cheese. That's a cheese state. <laughs> now, Emzinger, yeah, he, he's going to complain here, but the rule is, Anthony, you can guard somebody very closely, but you have to give him a step. You can't. See, he's all over him. He's not giving him a step. Hey, man, so, that's white on rice. Yeah, well, he just brought his elbow up and knocked him down, and that's legal. And, Chris, sorry, that's a foul. Good call by the ref. A little high post, backdoor action, over the top. Kick it to the corner, go baseline. Give it. What the? Uh, what did I tell you? Well, I'll tell you. Oh, you know, they, that you know, young man. Oh. Auckland are a good, well-drilled team. That was nice basketball. That, goes up, clutches, does a yo-yo, kisses it off the glass. Where's Emzinger? There you go. All right. There he is. There he is. That uh, young brother Dylan could hang on any of the streets back home. Well, you know, he's he's a guy that makes things happen. That's what you like about him. He's always around the ball. Chris Emzinger misses the first one. You got to make those, big man. Yeah, well, you got to match Auckland when they make their free throws. <laughs> oh, check out the song. That don't impress me much. <laughs> oh, man. Rubbing it in, rubbing it in. 88-77. Auckland Rebels, oh, man, they haven't looked back. Not they've been in control the whole game. About 10 points. They stretch it to 20, but they've maintained their 10-point lead. You know, look at that battle down there between Jeff Daniels and Scott Benson. They're banging right there. Good rebound by Emzinger right there. Good rebound. Kirk Penny on the outside. Whoa, he pops up. Yeah, all right. Downtown. There's Brendan uh, Kathy Pongia. He's another great three-point shooter. Nice shot by Kirk Penny right there. That's a big arc. That's a rainbow. Ooh, nice cut to the basket. Nice backdoor cut. Oh, Kenny Perkins. Strip. Perkins. Stripsy <laughs> Nosa. Yeah. Johnny uh -oh. Gassy dishes. Nice dish. All right. There There's the Emzinger again under the hoop. Well, now check Very, out this score, Jay. Hey, 88-82. Look at Tab. Pretty calm. Pretty calm there. Didn't I hear him say the fourth quarter was to be their quarter, but they right. they faltered a little bit. They've gotten a little unorganized. Oh, nice strong drive. Bowser, man, that was a good, strong drive, Anthony Ray. Give Just took it right man. to the hole. Give that man a meal ticket. Oh, strip. Uh-oh. Johnny Dassey thinks he got fouled there. He's not happy uh -oh. about that. You know, he tried to go behind the back. He got triple team, though, so that's pretty tough. What the heck? What are they going to call here? Now, wait a minute. It looked to me like Enosa. We were talking about how good a job the referees did. Jeff Daniels doesn't think that's the right call. What did he call there? Well, neither do I, John. Let's check out the replay. So he knows who uh -oh, charges Casey. over Daniels, yeah, but drops the ball out of bounds, and they give it to Auckland. Tab goes, how did we get that ball? It should have been North <laughs> Harbor's ball, but there you uh, go. Hope and a prayer. Here we go. Emzinger trying to pressure something. See, Auckland's smart by putting Perro Cameron out at the top of the key because that drink brings the 6'10 kid from North Harbor out, Emzinger. You got to play away from the basket so you don't get that many rebounds. That opens up your middle a great deal, doesn't yeah, exactly. it? Exactly. You got no shot blocker in there now. John, I think the lights are out. That pretty much wraps it up. It certainly does, Anthony Ray. It's been about a 10 point cushion. Tabs happy. And Auckland got that in the first quarter and they just held it throughout the game. North Harbor couldn't come back. Great game right here at Unitech. Auckland Rebels over the North Harbor Kings 92 82. Uh oh.